the right well that migrates down from Canada and they mate at the tip of Florida and now they're waking their way back to Canada. They don't have a dorsal fin. It's not interesting. Anchor right outside the ICW, which is this little line right here. Oops. Oh, I don't it. This little line is in the intercoastal waterway. That's where we have to stay in to make sure we don't get too shallow. But now we're at 10 feet. You can see 10 feet here. So he is laying anchor now. You can see all the other boats over there. So we can catch some beautiful sunset and get some quesadillas and margaritas. So now we're still at, holding at 10 feet, but he is going to set the anchor and we're going to be good for the night. Yeah, because I mean, the wind just feels so much better when you're on the boat. And we are rocking these brand new solar panels. This powers our entire boat. Before we had to use a generator to get the um, outlets to work on the boat and the lights and so forth. Now these solar panels power everything. The only thing it doesn't power is the water maker because it just, it needs so much power. So, so use the generator for that, which we're about to make water right now because we're out of water. We were, in the marina we got to get water every day but we go through like a gallon and a half to two gallons every day because that's all we drink is water we don't drink anything else well mike drinks wine i drink tequila that's it pretty much except for water so here we are so gorgeous such a beautiful night and as soon as we get through making water i'm gonna make some quesadillas and we just got these new gas tanks well not gas tanks um, diesel tanks that have this hose on there and before we had to use a funnel and everything it was really difficult but these come with a little straw and that's just because this boat is um, like 30 years old and it's made in Britain and I guess back then the diesel did not flow as fast I suppose as it does now and this is a little hole that it goes into and I guess if you put it in there from the spigot from the fuel tank fuel gas station or whatever um, it overpowers and just diesel goes everywhere we don't want to pollute the planet so we got these uh, beautiful little sure can and uh, we've got some for the diesel and then we've got some for gasoline which we keep in that little uh, compartment up there for our dinghy and for the uh, generator both run on gasoline but our boat runs on diesel so I do not know how to tell you how excited I am to have all uh, this power on our boat oh my gosh I love it we have the power
we are going to meet um, the guy that we bought the boat from, Mike. We are picking him up and we're going to go sailing with him today. So that's going to be fun. I'm sure he's going to love to be back on the boat. And, uh, and look how gorgeous this day is. Wonderful Sunday, you guys. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful, Mike. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Well, I'm so glad you came out with us today. Oh my gosh. Let me know when you're where you want to be. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Then you're back to the right. So I guess you knew how to do that, huh? Yeah. That's well, only one. Come back up. Because this morning it was, uh, when we came to get you, you could actually see the sand. It was all exposed. That looks good. Crazy.
thingy. Look at this water, it's so beautiful. Well, I say it's beautiful. We made water at the, um, for the catamaran. Today we are anchored This sand is so soft. Oh my gosh. But with it being so soft, when you get in the water, you're going to sink. What's up, baby? Stand up. We sink when we get into the water. Where we got grounded right there like, yeah where the channel stops yeah so that's where we went right there and then we had we got stuck right in the middle it looks like there's plenty of we got stuck right there got grounded and we were gonna call Cito but Mike thought let's try to reverse it and um, he had to use some engine power but we got it off and, and now we're up here so crazy <laughs> oh my god here in St. Augustine. Watching dolphins play. So this is the fort that protected St. Augustine. This is one of the, this is the oldest city, I believe, in America. How cool is that to be welcomed by the dolphins? So sweet. So, it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, but uh, Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be gorgeous. So, we will spend the weekend here and celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Uh, and somewhere, they've got a, several Mexican restaurants around here. We'll find one or just um, have some margaritas in the old town, St. Augustine. But um, either way, happy Cinco de Mayo, you guys. And the dolphins say hello. Mm -hmm. 